In this video, we're going to look at an extension on numerical integration and look at a particular method known as the Monte Carlo method for integration or Monte Carlo integration. Okay. Now, so far, what we've looked at um, is using rectangles. So that is otherwise referred to as a Riemann sum. So R-I-E-M-A-N-N, -N, uh, for those who might want to Google it. So a Riemann sum. Um, we've also looked at the trapezium rule, so estimating the error using trapeziums. But they're not the only ways of doing it. Um, there's also another method using rectangles known as the midordinate rule, which uses uh, the midpoints of rectangles. Um, there's also Simpson's rule, which uses quadratics uh, to estimate a curve and has a slightly more challenging to use formula than the trapezium rule, but it's not too much different, okay? Or too much more complicated, rather. Um, Monte Carlo integration um, isn't as good necessarily in the situation that we're going to be considering it in these uh, 2D areas um, as, say, the Simpsons rule. Um, however, the thing with Simpson's rule, with the trapezium rule, with Riemann sums, is that um, applying them to higher dimensional uh, situations, like volumes, is much more complicated. When actually Monte Carlo integration can deal with those situations quite effectively. So Monte Carlo integration is a very useful tool for higher dimensional volumes and spaces. But we're going to consider it from our 2D perspective, just to see kind of how it works. So the idea is this, that what we're going to do is we are going to pick um, randomly selected points between 0 and 2. We're going to estimate this error here. We're going to pick randomly selected points between 0 and 2. So let's say I select one that is here. And then I'm going to figure out the y value, so that point there, and then multiply it by 2, which will effectively give me the area of that rectangle. Then I'm going to select another point. I'm going to figure out its y value. I'm then going to work out the area of that rectangle. And then I'm going to select another point, work out its y value, work out that area of that rectangle, and so on and so forth. And what's going to happen is that eventually I, what I can do is I can average all of those areas. And the average that I get should uh, be an approximation to the overall area that I'm looking for. That's the concept. So the integral that we're actually looking at is the integral of x squared between 0 and 2. And that's actually 8 thirds. So that's uh, 2.6 recurring. So what we're going to do is we're going to try some values out. We're going to pick some x values. We're going to get the y values from that. OK, and for each of those, we're going to have an area of the rectangle. And then it would be interesting if we keep a running average. OK, so let's say we pick a random x value. So I'm going to use my random number generator on the calculator. So that's shift and then ran hashtag. And then I can times that by 2 to give me a random number between 0 and 2. And I get, in this case, 1.594. So I'm going to square that. That gives me the y value. So 2.540836. I'm going to times that. So that's the height of the rectangle. Times it by 2. And that gives me my first area. So that is my running average. So I will round it. Well, well, let's just have that for the time being, OK? Right, let's try another random number then. Random number, times it by 2, 
this time I'm getting 0 0.986. So I square it, so I get 0 0.972196. Uh, that's the height of the rectangle, double it, so multiply it by 2, 1.944392. So that's the area of my second rectangle. So if I add on the 5.081672 from before and divide that by 2, my running average is 3.513032. So that's just from two rectangles. Let's try a couple more. So random number times by 2. This time I've got 0 0.418. Square it. 0.174724 times that by 2 0.349448 and so if I add that on to the 1.944392 and the 5.081672 divide that by 3 and I get 2.458504 okay this is looking good. Right, let's just try one more. So random number times by 2. Um, so this time I'm getting 1.91. So I square that. 3.6481 times that by 2. 7.2962. So add that on to the previous results. 349448. Uh, plus uh, 1.944392 plus 5.081672. I should have had a cumulative uh, number as well. So then divide that by 4 and we get 3.667928. So I've added on this extra rectangle. Um, I've done the average. Okay, I've actually got, I've gone over what I was having, okay? What I was uh, getting quite close to just in three steps. But that's kind of what you'd expect, uh, that it would fluctuate, especially so early. So you could continue doing this and adding on the average more and more rectangles, averaging them out, and you should end up with a good approximation sorry, for the 2.6 for Karen. Okay, that is Monte Carlo integration. Um, as I said, this is an extension uh, video, so it's not something that's examinable, but is a little bit more of an interest sake that it can be taken on to estimate higher dimensional uh, volumes.